previously on Paradise Falls. Where did you find him? You don't leave a baby alone, period. Do you know what could have happened? Mr. Braga, I'd like you to meet my associate, Miss Kane. Very nice to meet you. House has 21. House wins. We're supposed to bring him 65,000 Monday morning after we go to the bank. You know how much money you cost me? Just drive away. <laughs> drive. This is Tony Baroni with the Paradise Falls Community Report. Today's weather, blue skies, calm waters, another perfect day in Paradise Falls. If you thought you were in trouble, why did you leave the casino? You should have called the police. I didn't know the Admiral was gonna follow me. I didn't have my cell phone. He was yelling, I had to get away. Did you hear him yelling? Uh, no, I, I was in my car and the radio was on. Did you know him before you met him at the casino? No, I only knew him there. If it wasn't for Michael, I'd be dead. I don't care if he's hurt. That man should stay in jail. He's dead. He died an hour ago. I got a call from the hospital. I thought he was just hurt. Hi there. What you doing, slacking off? Oh, no, I was just taking a uh, quick break. I'm just kidding. I am Thomas, Sasha's father. Hi, I'm Nick. <laughs> so has he kept you busy? Oh, sure. Well, you know, he's always adding jobs to my list. Well, there's a lot to do. The roof leaks, so does the foundation. Anywhere water can get in, it does. So, Nick, are you two, uh, you know? No, no, I, I'm just working for Sasha. Uh, do you have a boyfriend? <laughs> Do you ask everyone this question? Just the cute guys. We're friends. Still, what is wrong with my son? That you're ignoring him. <laughs> Again, it's just another joke. <laughs> He was hit by a car. Oh, this is terrible. What, was this a hit and run? No, we know who the driver was. Huh. Michael Mansfield. Really? But why would Michael run over his own uncle? What did he say? It was an accident. Michael was backing up and didn't see the Admiral. <gasps> he backed his car up over the Admiral? It seems the Admiral was threatening a woman, and Michael was trying to rescue her, and he didn't check his rearview mirror. He was just trying to do something good, and it turned tragic. I know. It's hard. The whole town is going to be devastated. It's OK. So when did Sasha tell you that he was gay? He was 12. I already knew, though. Not too many 12-year-old boys have the original cast album of Old Coward. <laughs> <laughs> and when he told us, we gave him a coming out party. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Did many of his friends come? A couple of girls, no guys. But that's what he wanted. He was an amazing kid. Smart, funny, good-looking. OK, you know what? You don't need to sell me on him. I like him. <laughs> I should introduce you to my grandfather. I wish he was more like you. Yeah? Who's your grandfather? Oh, Pete Bragg, he's the mayor of Paradise Falls. And we've already met. 
He's the asshole who told me about B. Oh, uh, well, you know, they used to be a couple. He's never really gotten over it. Mm. So he's allowed to make her life miserable. It makes me very, very angry. Why couldn't you buy one of my lousy paintings? One lousy painting. He'll buy the next one. No, he won't. I'm a hack. Daddy's a hack. It's no wonder Val doesn't talk to me. It's not you. It's Val. She's a cold fish. Don't say things like that. It's true. I mean, she's always had that I'm better than Paradise Falls attitude. What are you doing? Well, I'm getting out of this rat hole. Now, you see, I can say that because I actually live in a rat hole. Now, Val, she lives in a nice place. She should be more grateful. Where are you going? Uh, I haven't decided. I'll tell you when I get there. When were you going to tell me about this? I'm telling you now. Will you back off? I'll talk to Val before I go, OK? Can you help me pack? <laughs> what? What is it? You backed over him with your car? <laughs> it was an accident. Isn't funny? You accidentally killed the guy you were waiting to kill. That's funny. I don't think that's funny. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you wanted me to do it, didn't you? Of course. The man was a prick. He deserved to be backed over by a car accidentally. <laughs> you did good. <laughs> now remember, we don't want to be seen together, not for a while. We should let things cool down. For, for, for how long? <laughs> oh, not too long, baby doll. <laughs> it was an accident? Well, I, I'm glad that you like B. I do. Do you know what her favorite movie is? Yeah, I think it's uh, Casablanca. So it doesn't bother you that she used to be a man? No. Sasha's always looking for Mr. Wright. I keep telling him he doesn't exist. And we all have baggage we carry from relationship to relationship. The trick is not to find someone with no baggage. The trick is to find someone with matching luggage. <laughs> knock, knock. I was telling Jackson how good the hot dogs were over at Vinny's, and he said, why don't we get Mommy and treat her to lunch? I'm not hungry. Come on, you say that now, but I'll dress with cheese. I'll even throw in a pop. I'm too busy. Stanley Mansfield was killed last night. No shit. What happened? A car accident. He was run over by his own nephew. At the crosswalk, right? Not at the crosswalk. Can we talk about this tonight? No, because you're going to come home, you're going to be tired, you're going to want to take a hot bath and be in bed by 10. We're here now. Can't we talk over a little family time? <sighs> <laughs> setting the trailer on fire before we go. God, I want to see it burn. It's like a jail on wheels. We're not going to get very far on 50 grand. Well, if we run out of money, we can always sell some more paintings. <laughs> a lot of gay guys out there with new taste. I think we're moving too fast. It's been 40 years. We're not moving fast enough. Yeah, but it's stolen money. It's Braga's money. Christ, have you forgotten how many times he's fucked us over? No, it doesn't make it right. Listen. They're cashing the check right now. Tonight, when we get our half of the money, we are out of this shithole. Yeah, and then he's going to find out, and he's going to come after us. Trust your mother, Angel. He's not going to find out, OK? So long as we're together, it doesn't matter. We'll be fine. I haven't seen you forever. I thought you were avoiding me. I've just been busy. In Paradise Falls. 
Doing what? Sleeping? Mm. See you got plans for today. I'm supposed to go to the bank. <sighs> Do it later. <laughs> I guess you did miss me. Sure. Tell the uh, police about the admiral losing the cottage or the marked cards. I figured you didn't want that, no. Good girl, listen, I got a surprise for you. Thousand dollars. A little bonus. You earned it. How much does the historical society walk away with? Enough to buy a Canadiana bedpan of historical significance. Classy. I knew that guy was nuts. You don't bet on blackjack like that unless you know you're gonna win, and he wasn't gonna win with you dealing. You have amazing hands. Thank you. This isn't working. I know, I know. I know a place. Oh, seriously. What are you? 60? I'm sorry, but I don't find you attractive. I keep trying to say that, but you won't take the hint. I just want us to be friends. I'm not looking for fucking friends. Well, I'm not looking for someone who can use an old Canadiana bedpan. I've been thinking, what if I get a proper job? You have a job, you're a painter. Yeah, well, I haven't sold much lately. It'd only be for a bit, I want to contribute more to the house. But I don't want to leave Jackson, though. And of course, I can't be trusted with him. Why are you being so defensive? I'm not accusing you of anything. Okay, tomorrow, I want the two of us to go out for dinner. I'll get Rose to babysit. All right, I gotta go. We have to be patient with mommy. She loves us. You, she loves you. Came by. I have something for you. Here, it's a thousand dollars. So thank you. I don't want your money. Where are you going? North Bay, visiting relatives. I need to clear my head. You need your passport to go to North Bay? That's just the first stop. What are you two up to? I don't have to say anything to you. He was going to kill me. You didn't tell the police that you two were a couple either. No. Or maybe I should. I'd rather you didn't. I want to close this account, but your teller's not being very helpful. I want to transfer all the funds into another account. One moment, please. I'm sorry, ma'am, there's no money in this account. Are you sure you have the correct number? I know it's the right number. Check again. Well, this account is empty. What, what, what do you mean it's empty? I want to know where the fuck my money is. I'm sorry, ma'am, I can't serve you if you're going to act abusive. Don't give me attitude. You're a bank employee. I want to know where my fucking money is. One more outburst, and I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Well, yes, there's been some transfers recently. To where? I can't tell you that, ma'am. However, if, if, if you'd like to speak to my manager, there there's some forms you need to fill out to request that information. Miss? Yes? 
you know, so they added this back section. The B and B looks great now. You got to see what they're doing with it. Yeah, I see what they did with it. Uh, they ripped out trees and put in flower beds. That's what you gays do when you're not running naked through town. What the fuck is wrong with you? There's nothing wrong with me. I don't have to like every gay guy, do I? Yes, you do. And the father's not even gay, by the way. Oh yeah. Well, he's dating B for God's sakes. How fucked up is that? Well, I don't think it's fucked up at all. And why do you care? You know, I think B deserves a little bit of happiness. Just because your little twinkette said no, don't take it out on B or me. I don't want you seeing him anymore. We're not dating. We're friends. He's the enemy. Make new friends. No, I'm an escaped convict from uh, Kingston, Penn. I gotta put these wanted posters up all over town. Not bad looking. He's a criminal. We all got problems. <clears throat> I, I don't have much time. I'm gonna leave town for a while. I wanna talk to you about Billy. We're fine. No, you're not. You treat him like shit. And I want you to stop it. It's our business. I don't need your help. How can you work with such a fucking pickle up your ass? Just listen. I'm gonna give you some help, okay? Whatever you're going through, get over it. That's your help. Well, you're gonna lose him. And you're gonna lose that baby again. Christ, you already lost him once. It was an accident. Leave me alone because you don't know what you're talking about. Oh, like hell, I don't know what I'm talking about. Just because you stepped in some shit, don't you blame it on my brother. You clean up your own fucking shoes. This is almost a million. He was selling your family cottages, stashing the money away in a bank in the Cayman Islands. I fucking hate him. That's all right, sweetie. You've already killed him. I should have done it earlier. I got him to put the bank book in my name, too. Thank God. And how'd you do that? He wanted a favor from me. It was an easy giveaway. I'm sure he would have killed me when we got there, but he can't now. I should go to the police. Or you could come with me to the Cayman Islands. All the money's there. You don't have to do anything for it. We can split it, have some fun. What about Yvonne? She was working with him. No, she wasn't. Yes, she was. He told me so. That's why she's been trying to get me to kill him. She's been keeping you busy so you wouldn't see what they were doing. them both. That's what I say. It's got to be here somewhere. Pop that cork, come on. Now! <laughs> no, 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 just a little, one glass, baby. He's not an alcoholic. Let go. So, has your sister cashed the check yet? She said she did. Well, I want to see it. Bring her up here. Let's go. I want to see oh, it. Don't. She's got company. What are you going to do with your hat? Uh, well, actually, Roxy and I are going to go to Montreal. I got a friend there. I thought you were coming with me. Yeah, you know what though, Roxanne's going to Montreal, and if you want to visit, that's fine. Well, why don't you let her speak for herself? I just haven't broke the news to her yet. What are you asking her for? I just told you, if you have a problem no, with Mom, her see, visiting that's me, the thing. I am she going can speak for herself. That's not even business, okay? Actually, that's <sighs> oh my God. I'm not gonna fight with you, okay? She's never gonna let Roxy go with your brother. Good. I'm not going back, I'm not going back to the trailer, okay? I don't care. I better go up on deck, help her. You wanna come? No, I'm good here.
taking on duty. Do you see a uniform? You done with Mansfield? There wasn't much to it. It was an accident. You should have run over the girl, too. Ungrateful bitch. It's impossible to have a relationship in this town. You know who I don't like? Everyone. Those gay guys that opened that B&B, &B, did you see them streaking through town like it was a frat party? Did you ticket them for that? I took care of it. They're not going to do it again. Well, that's not enough. They're laughing at us. They should pay. And their building's not up to code. It's fine. It's not up to fucking code. You should talk to them. I'm not the building authority. Well, thanks for the help. What are you doing here? Don't you have a baby to lose? story falls under the category of you never know where Cupid's arrow will strike. Seems local hero Michael Mansfield has struck up a romance with the woman he rescued last night. Sometimes tragedy just brings people together. I wanted to do something to thank Mikey. So we're flying to the Cayman Islands tonight. We don't know when we'll be back. Goodbye, Paradise Falls. <laughs> Can't say I'll miss you. Fuck you both. They're kind of like oh, that. Oh, no. Well, you're not going with him, OK? Why do you always treat me like I'm some kid? Hey, what you are? Charlie? I'm going to go. Charlie! No, you know what? I'm Charlie! You don't have to move back to the well, trash. Well, she come up here? No, she's not up here. She's got to be somewhere down there. What? She couldn't have jumped the boat mid-lake. Charlie! Charlie? Charlie! Charlie! Wait and see. She took the money. She didn't take the money. Would you relax? She's not down below. Somewhere in the morning mist, the world begins with someone's kiss. Thunders no one else will see. Inside a place where no one. 